And it was pretty much just like this. I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> was it not? It was like... <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys! What's up? What's up? Oh, I need to put my wedding ring on. I always have my ring on. I know. I, oh my gosh! <laughs> I took it off because I was washing my hands, and we okay. got these. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It fits better in the summertime. But yeah, well, things have been great. I want to take a moment to say thank you for making my lunch for tomorrow. Of course. Megan just made my lunch for tomorrow. That means so much to me. Mm-hmm. Married life. Married life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy doing it, and we have to wake up early anyway, so I was like, you know what, one less step to do. I even took it as far as separating the mayonnaise and the pickles of a sandwich yeah. so they don't get soggy. So it doesn't get soggy. So the sandwich doesn't get soggy. Which I will appreciate that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we are recently married. Our dog is <laughs> pouncing over here. It's hilarious, and I'm spitting. Let's <laughs> redo all redo that. that. So a lot has changed since you guys have seen us last. Yep. Um, we got a new house. We bought a house. Um, we're loving it. Mm-hmm. And more importantly, we are married. married. Whoop, 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 Insert the fireworks. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. Married life has been amazing. Um, I feel like we were already married before, so yep. it's just it's nice to have, you know, a little extra blingage on the finger and for <laughs> him to walk around with some blingage and yep. yeah. Yeah, I've been wanting a ring for a long time. I was just waiting for Megan to propose. <laughs> yes. We're happily living the married life. Mm -hmm. um, it's going great. It's going great. Um, Is that a crack on your camera? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Don't know when that happened. I think that... I don't know when it would have happened. Mm -mm. We're going to go ahead and get started with the Q&A. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. So, the first question is how we met. Yep. Yeah. Fun question, fun yeah. question. Uh, we like to answer this to everybody because um, we didn't meet the typical way. Well, I guess in today's age, it is typical. It's like it is typical. Um, but okay, we, well, first thing, we actually discovered we had mutual friends later, but... Uh, that doesn't matter. It's Marcia Hall. Really. <laughs> you talking about the dishwasher at Stevie B's at the yeah, pizza place yeah. that I worked and, at. And I, when I worked at CeCe's, he was the dishwasher there. So we met on Tinder. Um, yeah. I feel like, you know what? I have no shame in Tinder. Nothing I'm Tinder. the type of girl that I watch too many like true crime shows and movies. And I feel like if I were to go out and meet somebody, you know, I don't know anything about them. <laughs> I don't know anything about them. So Tinder, I, guess, I was able to stalk yeah. him on Facebook. I knew his parents' name. I knew where he grew up. I knew where he went to high school <laughs> before so I even swiped right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, there is that. You know, you kind of get to gauge who they are first, I guess. But yeah. um, but getting into like us actually meeting, uh, it was awesome. I picked her up. I had a like old black beat up Chevy mm -hmm. uh, truck and I picked her up in it. Um, and we honestly just, we just hung out. Uh, it was magical. There was fireworks in the air. When he picked me up, it was like a horse and carriage and this was about <laughs> French Charming. <laughs> honestly, it was great because she was so easy to talk to. Um, I think the first thing you opened the truck door and I was like, you said, what's, what's up? up? I said, what's up, Megan? <laughs> I was like, what's yep. up? Yeah. He said, what's up? I but, remember uh, he was wearing a black shirt similar to this. Fitting. Yeah. And I might've just yeah. gone off work. I don't know. We, so just a little transparency. We met going on five years ago. Mm -hmm. It was July of 2018. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and we just got married in October of last year. So. Yep. But yeah, I remember um, talking to my mom about it. We had just gotten back from the beach and I was talking mm -hmm. about him the entire beach trip. Mom, if you're watching this, you can uh, back me up on this. But she, I was just telling her, like I was showing her pictures and stuff and she was like, ooh, <laughs> he's cute. And I was like, he is. <laughs> so I remember telling her, I was like. So she got yeah. mom's approval before. Yes, yes, beforehand. Yeah. So we were like texting back and forth for like a couple months before we actually met. Um, Actually, so. you want to go back to Tinder first? Speaking of Tinder. What do you mean? So, I triple messaged her on Tinder before she messaged me back. Sounds desperate saying that, but it wasn't out of desperation. I really liked her. And I think the first message was just something corny. She never responded. Then I messaged her again. 
just kind of like a, hey, what's up? You know, like acting like she didn't even see the first message. And then finally, it was just something about her. I kept just coming back to her profile specifically. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I never triple message somebody, but I'm just going to go for it. And I'm pretty sure I said that. I'm like, hey, yeah. I never triple message somebody, yeah. but. Uh, he was like, I've n I never triple message somebody, but you're really cute. So I'm going to go for it. And I remember going back to that message and. I was like, hmm. I was like, if he's triple messaging me, mm -hmm. then he must be some about dedication. something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like, I like the persistence, and obviously he was very attractive. So, yeah. So I decided to go for it. Flattering. So yeah, I was telling my mom about him. I said I was gonna hang out with him when we, when we got back. So literally the day we got back that night, he picked me up, and I remember. I, I don't really get nervous, but I remember like I was pretty nervous. That you were day. nervous. I was a little nervous before I met you. Wow. Before like before you came you and picked didn't me seem up. Nervous. I know. I said initially I was. Initially I was nervous, but then when I opened the door, he was like, "What's up?" Yeah. He like did like that. He's like, "What's up?" I was yeah. like, "Yeah." It was weird. It was almost like I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. Like, like, like I had a known him. Sigh of relief. Yeah, yeah. Like I had yeah. known him. I was like, okay, he's. He's a good guy. No, that's true. That's true. And then we uh, we just drove. We hung out. Um, came to my house. Just talked. We talked. That's for what was hours. great. We literally just talked forever. Yeah. Like we it, it it was just nonstop. And ever since then, even to now, almost five years later, it just feels like we've been on that same date. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like just this whole time, mm -hmm. just learning with each other and learning more about each other. And it was great. It was great. The next question we have, which kind of comes right after this one. What is it? All right. So our first date was at this restaurant called Jim and Nick's. Yes, it's a barbecue place yeah. in Memphis. Delicious. If you know anything about Memphis, Memphis is big on its barbecue. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of good barbecue here. But yeah, it was it was great. It was just getting to know each other more. Um, <laughs> the night we met, this was two nights, two days after that? Mm -hmm. We had our first date? Yeah, yeah. our first official date. Um, and it, it was it was awesome. Like I said, just talk more. Got to know about this beautiful lady. Mm -hmm. All about what she was studying in school. Um, she's in education, so that's what she was studying. Yes. And uh, I don't know. I was probably just being a goof. You I were. And I remember that was the first time he posted me. So I was like, oh, this Oh, is... like on Snap? Mm-hmm. Yeah. On Snap? Yeah, that was the first time. You're a hipster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he posted me for the first time, so I Which, was like... if that's three days after we met, that's pretty big. That is big. That's huge. <laughs> yeah. 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 But we hit the ground running, and we were pretty serious, like, starting out. Like We were. We were. Like, after the first night that we met, uh, the next morning, she texted me, and she literally was, like, super... I remember you were super up front, mm -hmm. and was just like, hey, what are you looking for in this? Mm -hmm. um, like... Obviously, we met on Tinder, so there's just the stigma around that. Yeah. But well, I just knew, like, how perfect he was and how perfect everything went. I was like, this has to be too good to be true. So, I was like, I'm either going to get my heart broken now You were perfect. I later. loved your personality from day one. And I loved yours. Yeah. That's why I was like, what do you want out of this? Yeah. Because I was like, I'm not going to get my heart broken. And that's where I felt, okay. <laughs> I didn't feel, I obviously didn't get those vibes at all, but... I just, you never know. I knew you for one day, and yeah. I was like, but, and you're but I'm this glad perfect. You, I know, but I'm glad you said that because, uh, you know, I, I was thinking the same thing, and I knew I wanted to spend a lot of time with you and, and date you and, and obviously get to where we are now. If we didn't what have that conversation. Gonna go off? Is it going to end filming? Oh, shit. Please do not judge me. Um, I'm getting my nails done this They week. look great. Y'all look at them. Yeah, funny. No. Okay. Mm. So cute. Look at how Monty looks like. He's judging us right yeah. now. Surprise our dogs haven't come over here. They're not usually camera shy. But Yeah. But anyway. So, so um, next part of the question. Um, is our first kiss. First kiss. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it was directly after our, our first date. Yeah. Um, and you just knew you wanted to kiss me after eating that barbecue. Yeah. yeah. You said, mmm, I want some more of those ribs. I want me a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. So, yeah, we went back to my house and we're just hanging out and talking some more. Uh, my roommate was there. And uh, anyway, we, we were just like talking on the edge of my bed. And it was the only point where the conversation reached a point where it was like, 
all right like you know how you just kind of look around you're like yeah like we were to the point where we're talking about my shoes like and then you're like yeah so then all of a sudden i was just like all right i'm gonna go for it and you do you know i was like looking at her lips and she saw me looking at her lips and it's pretty much just like this i was just like <laughs> was it, not? it was like <laughs> <laughs> yep but uh but it was great it was electrifying i still remember it very vividly mm -hmm. almost five years later that's crazy yeah he was very bold and that's what i liked out of him like i'm a, i'm sure you know just like every other woman you want a man that's gonna put you in your place and he definitely did that early on and I kind of picked up on that with him messaging me like he did. I was like, okay, I think he's like, you know, yeah, he's about it. So I knew what I really wanted. attracted I me to wanted. him, and then obviously he's very attractive and very sweet and very respectful. Like he wasn't like, all right, yeah, we're about to do this, you know. <laughs> like he didn't, he didn't like. I don't know. I just I feel like a lot of men that you meet are just very like one. What's the word? One note or one like, note, and they're yeah. very just. You know, you, you can't really carry a conversation. You can be bold and you can be sweet. Yeah, but some guys are more like bold and kind of jerks. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, is that not? That's true. <laughs> That's true. There's a difference. There's a difference. Love who said jerks. You sound like a school kid. Yeah, but it was great. It was great. Um, I think this is a three part uh, first vacation. <laughs> First vacation was a big one. It was actually my family reunion. Um, and mm -hmm. our family reunions are always huge. We do them every oh, year. Yeah. And we go to a different state um, that we have family that lives in. Like a different family will host it each year. Mm -hmm. And actually, we're hosting it this year in Atlanta. Yeah. We're, so we have a lot to live up to. But anyways, um, it was in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Um, so it was really exciting for me to not only introduce Myrtle him Beach. to all my family, but to see how he kind of meshed with my family too. It was a big, yeah. no, it was a big moment. It was a big moment, sure. um, but he fit right in. They all absolutely adored him. I think some of them may like him a little more than me at this point, uh, but yeah, tell us some about it. <laughs> uh, I don't, was it in October when we went or? It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> whatever the case, uh, yeah, it was, it was great. I mean, I, at this point I already knew, so she has three brothers, John, Jacob, and Hayden. I already knew them and, uh, they, they've been in other videos as well. And I had met her mom, uh, a little bit, but that was pretty much it. So everything else was new. I met all of her aunts, cousins, uh, uncle, uncles, and, uh, everybody was really cool, really welcoming. Her grandma is one of the sweetest people I've ever met. I refer to her as my grandma now, and everybody was, like I said, just very welcoming. It was a really good time. Like, we spent a lot of time at the beach, obviously. One of her cousins, uh, or, or Jesse and Will, they were doing, like, the yoga in the morning times, which was cool. And what else did we do? We, did, we went bowling. Oh, we did go bowling, which was really exciting. Oh, yeah, because they had... They all have matching, like they have family vacation The typical family vacation shirts yeah, that of course yeah. Trevor Oh, and I got one, yeah. Man, I wish I, if I had it, I'd wear it right now. <laughs> the vacation was a very, very eye-opening um, vacation. I would say that it was, I kind of needed that to really see if he was the one for me. Because at that point, I knew like he was everything I wanted. But I also yeah. wanted him, wanted to see how he was with my family. So yeah, that's important. Seeing that definitely, you know, it made me want to get married to him right there, Aww. right there on the I beach. I should have proposed to you. I Her know. brother actually proposed to his now wife at one of their family vacations. I think the year before, family right? Reunion. Or yep. family reunions. I'm sorry. Yep, the year before. Yep. So I couldn't steal the thunder <laughs> and do the same thing. But come here, little muffin. <laughs> if you're ever in. South Carolina, Myrtle Beach specifically, I recommend a restaurant called Rio's that we went to. It's, yeah, oh my gosh, it's a Brazilian steakhouse and it is phenomenal. Huge mm -hmm. salad bar, just some of the best quality meat I've ever had in my life. It's so delicious. I'm smitten by them. Smitten? Yeah. Smitten kitten. I've been looking Meow. for when I could use that word. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't say yeah. you were smitten with me. You are smitten with the me. I was smitten with you. I was smitten when I saw you. I was head over heels. Cute. <laughs> yep. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being patient with us. 
Um, we've kind of had a lot go on over the years, so we haven't been posting. Yeah. Every, that feels weird. It's like licking my leg. <laughs> we've had a lot go on, but we are back now. You're going to see a lot more content from us. Um, any suggestions you guys have for videos that you want to see, put them in the comments below. If you want us to do another Q&A, put any questions you mm -hmm. have for us down below. Um, we have some more exciting videos coming for you guys, and we've also got some big news to share. Big news. Coming soon. Um, yep. So stay tuned. Like, subscribe, share, share to your friends, Push all share the to your Push family, all the share to your cousins, your uncles, your neighbors, <laughs> even your cashier at Kroger. <laughs> When you're yeah. checking out. Have that video ready to go when you're yes. checking out. Show them. Yes. Oh. Um, but thank you guys for being patient with us. This is, we also have a new addition to the family. This is Mr. Maverick. Um, Mavi Poo, the sock bandit. Yes. We've had him for about, we've, well, he's nine months old now. We've had him since he was a puppy. Um, mm -hmm. He's a little cockapoo, a little fluffy thing. Mm -hmm. He's a little dirty we now because he's been outside. But, um, but yeah. He's the newest addition to our mm -hmm. new family. Yep. Till, Till next, next time, time guys. guys. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Peace and blessings. Peace, peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Peace, peace. And blessings.